Hello everybody, once again, and welcome back to Decay the Mare. Now, we're in the middle of episode 3 right now, and I've just found a ball that dropped out of that hole up there. It looks like I might need to find three more, because there's four slots, and I know that one of the balls fits in one of the slots, so I assume there's maybe three more balls. Maybe a red, pink, and green one, that'd be interesting. But I think what I'm going to have to do now is just look for more balls, and, and possibly a key, because I've got a, v a VHS tape that I need to see. It's the scariest movie ever, apparently. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we're still in this, I, I call it a school, it's not really a school, it just looks like a school environment for some reason. But we're still in this area, I don't know, maybe if we go through one of these doors we'll end up back in reality. You know, back in reaching dreams. Where we should be, really. I think drugs are kicking in or something, I don't think I'm asleep, this is weird. Anyway. We have a door to the right. This, I think, leads to a television. That is probably what that glow is. It's a glow of a TV screen. Hopefully with a VCR. But of course, this door's locked, so that's why I need a key. Okay, I'm just going to keep going back. I actually want to have a look up the ladder, if it's still there. Because like, when I touched that chair, it went all staticky, as you probably saw, and I, I went back. To, uh, to reaching dreams, and I kind of wonder if that could happen again. So let's climb up. So I... Okay, this is a little bit different. Who is that? Is that... Nenny? Nene? That's Raphael? How is he speaking? <laughs> he's got a noose. Never mind, never mind. Raphael says, Sam, he's gone now. You mean Nenny? Yes. Uh, right, okay, well, probably not the best opportunity to talk to him. Maybe you should get him out of that. But, who is Nanny? Please, tell me. Okay, me and Juan, another guy from my gang, Chicanos Locos. Okay. We're on our way home from a party. When we met a member of the gang with whom we were at war, we saw it in his colours. Okay. He was called Nanny, and he bore the gang's purple colours. So he was, he was a baller then from San Andreas, right? I hope so. We were drunk and Juan, my friend, had bought a piece. An old German gun from the Second World War. Alright, okay. Juan gave it to me and asked me to confront Nene. Since I was still new to this, I had to show him that I had what it took to be a Chicano Loco. I walked towards him and raised the gun. We forced him into an abandoned industrial building just outside of Newark. Right and found an empty storage room where he had to sit down on a chair. I held the gun against his forehead. I felt powerful when Nenny started crying. Then the gun went off. He fell backwards onto the floor, staring up at the ceiling. It was over in seconds. We left the gun, the murder weapon, and ran home. For a week, I stayed at my apartment. I did not talk to anyone during this time. Several times every hour, I looked out to the street, through the window, to see if there were any cops outside. There never were. During this week, the gang received information about the old German gun at the crime scene, which everyone knew belonged to Juan. Before the police could arrest Juan, he was found dead, probably killed by Nani's gang. Almost all of my dreams were about Nani. He was there, observing me, reminding me of what I have done. I thought it would get better here at Reaching Dreams, but it got worse. So that's what this is all about? Some some kid who was in a gang getting shot in the... F I'm, I'm glad it's over. Am I? I'm glad it's over, I guess. I Yeah, I think he's happy now. Right, so... He was torturing Raphael for killing him, and... I guess he's on equal terms now that they're both dead? How? What? What was this? I'm so confused. I'm sorry. There's too many questions. It's a ma it's a magnifier. It's a magnifying glass. Okay. What am I? What am I going to look at in detail? I wonder. <laughs> We're just examining it. It doesn't seem to work because I'm looking right through it. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Okay. So, I assume you're dead now. Can I take you off or something? No? So he's not dead. He's just hanging there. Is he at least dying? I, I'm glad it's going. Yeah. I think he's happy now. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. 
Um, this is very, very weird. Yeah. I guess there was a bit of an answer there, but it's not exactly the one I was looking for. Um, I'm still kind of looking for balls and keys, really. I'm sorry, Raphael, I didn't expect to see you down here. <laughs> There's got to be something I can have a look at in great detail, though. But I don't remember seeing that last time. There must be something, though. There must be something. We've still got to get this open as well. It, uh, this isn't locked, it just won't open. I tried to pry it open with the spade last time, or the shovel. That didn't work. The cane, maybe? No. Okay. Just trying to eliminate the possibilities at this point, really. Ah, uh, da, da 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 No, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's go through here and just keep exploring, I guess. Uh, is there anything in the cupboard? I'm hoping there's a ball in here, honestly. There was a coin last time. It's still nothing. Okay, fine. Let's back out of this. I'm going to go to here. Okay. Through here, yeah. There was the pig locker, which I already got open, so that's fine. Um, nothing on the chair. There's like a blackboard or something over there. Very dangerous fan. But I can't interact with it. But we could go through here, right? Now, this, is, this has been puzzling me quite a lot, actually, because this room is absolutely pointless. I'm fairly sure it's not. There probably is a purpose to this. That I, I I don't know what it is. I know that there's nothing here that I can actually use. I'm not pressing that damn button. If I turn around though, I, I still don't get anything. My, you know, minus the door to leave. So there's got to be something this side that's really really small, or I have to use an item here. And I don't really know. Maybe nah. Is it dark enough to use a flashlight? Probably not. I mean, there's shadows under there, but no, that doesn't make any sense. Do I start digging for some reason? No, no I don't, okay. Uh, do I... I don't use the ball here, I'm fairly certain. I don't know why I would use that. I'm going to try, no. <sighs> There's gotta be something, I'm just, I'm sorry that I'm putting you through this guys, but I want to be sure I'm not missing anything. The pocket watch. Right, yeah, I, I completely forgot the Pocket Watch's special ability to make things, just like, turn back time and make things fly away. This game doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. Right, whatever. Let's, let's go to the painting, I guess? This is what we're, we're trying to get to, it seems. Okay, why is only half the face painted? The other, the other half seems to be a silhouette. Uh, it looks kind of dark over here, actually. Do I have to use the, um... Uh... Da, 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 flashlight? No? No? Again, there must be a purpose for this. There has to be a purpose to this. There's got to be... Um, hold on. I mean, it's a painting, right? Maybe I have to look for a signature? Ma magnifying glass? Come on, come on! Hey, fuck, yeah, it worked, okay. What is this? Okay, here we go. The man had been swallowed up in a world of darkness. The knife, oh, the knife, the knife with the green handle was his salvation. His veins were open as the sun rose in the east. All right. Okay, I was actually looking for a, like a signature or something like that, you know. But uh, no, okay, fine. Man had been swallowed up by it in a world of darkness. The knife with the green handle was his salvation. His veins were open in, as the sun rose in the east. That's got to be a riddle to something. But, I don't know what. Is that the knife with the green handle? Didn't, did my knife have a green handle? No, it's got a brown handle. Do I have to paint it green? <laughs> Probably not. I'm awfully confused, really. I don't understand how the pocket watch is, is doing all these things. I guess it's like a dream. I'm hallucinating or something. So that's kind of why it works, but... Still doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah, we got the pig locker. Can I just open that? There wasn't anything left in here, right? Not even a coin. Still looking out for a couple of coins, remember. Um, and there's a couple of boxes up there which I can't access, it seems. I'm going to back out of that. And and again, you know what? There was another screen over here that didn't make any sense. <laughs> wow, that got me. Holy shit, that got me. 
I was just about to say the screen had no point. Now it has a point. Behind whatever this was is a green ball. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, right, that that was the biggest scare this game's given me, I've got to be honest. Oh. Came out of nowhere that one. Right, anyway, yeah, we have a green ball. And we have a yellow ball. We're looking for two more balls. <laughs> Where could they be? I don't know. Right. Uh shovel there, fine. No, nothing there, nothing there. Turn to the right. This looks pretty dark. Oh, it doesn't anymore. But maybe I do actually have to use the flashlight here. There could be something hidden in the, like a crevice or something that I'm not seeing. I cannot, I cannot use this here, apparently. No. Terrible fucking battery life for this flashlight. Terrible. Is there a ball in the box? There's nothing in the box anymore, is there? Okay. What about... Oh, I thought I could examine the table then, but no, I think it's just here. Is there something down here? Maybe there is. Let's give it a go, give it a go. Uh, no, no, nothing. <laughs> nothing again, nothing again. Awfully big area for only a couple of things to examine, really. I always feel I'm missing something in this game, but there's only very, very few areas that you can really have a look at. I, um... I don't know where else to look. I actually don't know. No, I don't know where else to look. Unless I go right back to the beginning and use just the two balls. Possibly. Or there, there could be something up the, the ladder on the... Who just dropped that? Thanks, Raphael, I guess. We have a red ball. I have a red ball. Hang on, what are the colours that I've got? Yellow, green, and red. Is the last ball going to be a black ball? I'm just thinking of that painting, what I used, you know, I used the magnifying glass and I saw that riddle, mentioned the colours, like the sun, that would be yellow, green handle, green, um, it said his veins were open or something, right, so blood, red. Is that a clue? Oh, that, that could be a clue to which order I need to put the balls in. But I'm still looking for that fourth ball, so I'm kind of shit out of luck at this point. Oh my god, that question mark is tempting as hell. Seriously. Seriously tempting. But I've tried all the items. The balls aren't going to work. I also need to find a key. The key must be hidden. Why? Why can I only find that now? And who keeps giving me these balls? Well, okay. It's not exactly a black ball. It's a grey ball. It's darkness. I think that's what the I think that's what the riddle's all about. I guess I have the four balls now. Let's go and do this properly. I'm just gonna go skedaddle back to the the, the very beginning, and see if we can work this puzzle out. Right. Okay. So just going off memory here, I believe it is darkness that starts it off. Assuming we're going left to right. So, yeah, that will represent darkness for me. Then it's the green handle. So that's that. Then blood is spilled from the veins, which will be the red one. And then, of course, the sun is at the very east, which is the very right. Please. Oh, thank you. TV. Yes. The TV room. The TV room. Pick it up. Good man. Okay. Okay, we fixed that puzzle. We have a key. And now maybe I can finally watch this, this tape, this VCR, this, uh, the VHS, sorry. There we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'm not just bumbling around anymore. Right. Okay, so, yeah. It's, it's, it's a TV. I think that is a VCR below it. I guess let's examine it and use it. Right, yeah, I have the tape. The scariest movie ever. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> A 
film by Tr Lucio Frizzi. Hang on, wait a minute. Oh, I see. We can rewind with this. Fine, 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 fine. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Triangle star, like crescent moon triangle. I am going to write that down. I have a pen around here somewhere. I've got some paper around here somewhere. I'm thinking that's probably useful. Triangle. Star in the top right. Crescent moon bottom left. Bottom right, another triangle. Okay, let's uh, let's continue to watch the film. Sorry, guys. Zombie of the Dead. I'm not familiar with this film. I assume it's an Italian film. Oh, what? Was that it? Brilliant. You get the opening credits and the title, and you that's it. Done. Okay, fine. Alright, so the scariest movie ever isn't anything about this, I don't think. It's this pattern here. But where the hell do I use that? Oh my god. This is definitely the hardest episode so far, just because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Especially with the pocket watch and stuff like that. Um, anything on this side of the, the room? Hang on. Is that it? It's a crowbar! Hey, the, uh, the the shovel didn't work, the cane didn't work, but the crowbar might. The crowbar... Hang on, is that a... That's a coin, too. Oh, fucking excellent, okay. How many coins have we got now? It's like seven? Seven. I'm looking for three more coins. Okay. Um, can't use that, okay. Let's just go out. Let's try and use this crowbar. I'm hyped now, I'm really pumped. <laughs> I, I kind of know what I'm doing now. Or at least I think I do. I'm very sorry about the previous, like, five, ten minutes of bumbling around. That is definitely going to be edited. Hello again. Hello again, Bag. That's your name. Sam, someone is down there. From time to time we can hear her cries. It's sad, really. I wish I could go to talk to her. But I can't find her. <laughs> what happened to you? Why are you here? Well... Me and Dad were eating dinner, and and he fell asleep. And then I think I fell asleep. I really can't remember. Did your mother make you and your father go to sleep? Maybe. What? Are you implying that the mother killed... Wait, hang on. Uh... Is this part... Of, like... Yerig Zig's son? Do they have kids? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yes, I'll try to find her, I promise. Thank you. And Sam, if you meet my mother, please, please, please don't hurt her. Do you promise? I guess. Yeah, I promise. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Sam. We're best buddies after all, aren't we? Well, I've chosen those two, so let's just have our silence. Goodbye, Sam. See ya, bag. Right. Okay, well, I assume that the crowbar is going to work then, so let's examine this, use the crowbar, and hopefully we can make sense of all this. Right, it is a hatch, and there is a ladder down. We're going down. Might need the flashlight by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, hang on, what's this? There is something on the wall here. Just gonna have a look at this first. Oh, right, okay, it's the pattern. Fine, fine, fine. Um, so, it was the triangle in the bottom right and the top left. Like that. And there was a crescent moon down here. And a star up there. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there's a hole in the wall. That's interesting. Let's have a look at this hole, shall we? Okay, we have a key. We have a key. Okay, a key to something. I don't know what though. And uh, is that the knife blade? It's the knife blade. Right. Well, I know that's getting combined straight away, isn't it? Combine with this here. There we go. Okay. That is a very rusty, but I suppose usable knife if I need to cut something. There we go. But what about this key? What does that go to? Are there any locked doors above me that I couldn't get through? I don't think so. I think it was just the TV room. Hmm. Oh well, we have a key for something. 
Something down here maybe needs a key, I don't know. Anyway, uh, behind me. There's a ladder up, a light. This looks like it could be like sand. Maybe, I don't know. It's dirt or something. Is that another hatch? Oh, a padlock. Oh, right, it's locked. I'm assuming it won't be in a moment. There we go. Some flowers, very nice. Right. Can I not examine them or go in? No? Okay. I can't examine this, like, hatch or whatever this is, either. What? Okay, there's got to be a purpose down here. Right. Hmm. Maybe an item. What have I used? Hang on. The shovel. The shovel! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! What's going on in this game, though, honestly? What is going on? Right, let's have a look at the hole. Oh, shit. Who's that? That's Tori? Tori says, I have been chasing you in your dreams for a long time. You are the one who's been chasing me? Why? When I wandered in these dreams, there was no one there who could wake me up. Eventually, I ended up in such a deep sleep that my body could not handle it. So, the monster... You, you tried to wake me up? Yes, I tried to wake you up before it was too late. This is crazy! Everything is a mess in my head, and you are not kidding about that. Why is Yerazig doing this to us? There is probably no simple answer. She already killed her son and husband several years ago. The boy in the bag. Yeah, yeah, I thought it might be. Yes, and Jack Roth, the headless man aimlessly wandering in our dreams. When Jack tried to leave, she did to them what she did to me. Raphael, and you. She gave them drugs to control them. Eventually, they died. I guess she brought us here because she was lonely. Where in New Jersey is Reaching Dreams? Are we in Newark? I don't know. We need to find out. We? Don't you understand? I'm gone. Raphael is gone. It's just you left. When you turn around, you will find stairs to the light. Yerazig is there now. Don't let her keep you here. What the goddamn fuck is going on? <laughs> she was right! There are stairs now! She's controlling my dream. Now we can have a look. Uh, let's go. Enter? Yeah, I think so. I guess. I don't know what to make of this game. I really don't. Right. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going then, I suppose. Through the doorway. Right. Wait, I'm, I'm in my room, right? I'm in my room. Okay. Again. <laughs> for like the fifth time or something in the game. Okay. Did you say that Yerazig's here? Is she perhaps waiting in here? There's nothing in here. There's never been anything in there. I guess that's just a, for the tutorial. Like, yeah. Oh, hello. Raphael is dead and so is Tori. Stop this madness, Yerazig. Let me out. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to me. You killed them all. Tori, Raphael, Jack, and your own son. And put him in a handbag or something. Open the door and let me out. It's not going to happen though, is it? Okay, Yerazig says, these keys will open the front door. Take them, and leave. Okay, I have two choices. Take the keys, or use the knife and take the take the keys. Um, I'm... 
Oh, what should I do? I'm going to use the knife and take the keys. Fuck it. The only thing I see outside is a forest. How do we get to know it from here? I won't let you leave. You can't leave! I assume I'm not the one getting stabbed there? Oh my god. You got her, I think. Where are we, Yerizig? Answer me. You need an ambulance. I need to find a phone. There are no phones here. How do I get to Newark from here? Answer me! I need to contact a hospital! You've been here so long you forgot... Forgot the way home? How long have we been here, Yerizig? Tell me! How long have we been locked up? Th three years? Blimey. Three years? I don't even remember your... Your real name anymore. What do you mean? Your name. I've forgotten your name. Sam. If... if you say so. Not that it ma matters. Oh shit. Is this it then? I, I, I take the keys and leave. Three people, Three people have been nope. found dead in a house just outside Warsaw in Poland. A 25-year-old man who belonged to the group of three people three years ago who disappeared during a field trip to Warsaw in Poland has been found alive. The two others, a woman and a man, have been found dead. A third woman in her 60s was also found dead. The police are refusing to comment on the relation between the elderly woman and the students at this point. Psychiatrist Yerizig Roth, already wanted in the United States for the murder of her husband and the disappearance of her son in the early 90s, is believed to have drugged the students and locked them in the house on the outskirts of Warsaw. For three years, she held the Newark students captive. It was when one of the students managed to escape that the story reached its conclusion. Despite the fact that the 25-year-old male student was able to point out the bodies, it proved to be incredibly difficult to identify them, as the names mentioned to the police could not be linked to any missing persons in Poland. It was only when the American Embassy in Warsaw saw a connection between the bodies and the vanished American students that they realised it was the missing student, Nicholas Jensen, who was the survivor. For unknown reasons, he introduced himself as Sam Eldritch. The female student he called Tori is believed to have died two and a half years earlier, after being locked up for six months. She was found buried underneath the house. The third student took his own life just before Jensen managed to escape. Yerizig Roth was also found dead at the scene. It is believed that she died in connection with Nicholas Jensen fleeing from the house. Well, okay, I guess that just about wraps that up. Kind of. Oh my god, that was it? That was the story? That, well, I didn't see that one coming, I'll give him that. What is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies. Okay then, everybody, that was Decay the Mare, I think. That's the end. Yeah. Right. I don't know what to make of that, really. I like the game. I like the gameplay. I like the puzzles. I wasn't particularly satisfied with that conclusion. I guess some certain things were answered, but there's still a few mysteries, really. 
Yeah. Yeah, this game's kind of left a funny taste in my mouth. Hmm. But nevertheless, it's always fun to entertain you guys, and I hope you were entertained. As always, thank you very much for watching this video and this playthrough, and I hope you stick around so you'll join me next time. See you then. The Pocket Watch. And, and again, you know what? There was another screen over here that didn't make any s <laughs> Or there's, there, there could be something up the, the ladder on the... Don't let her keep you here. What the goddamn fuck is going on?